welcome back. You're watching No Reservations. And it's now time for the fun part of the show, which is the double AA, A, double A, double A round. And that is when I basically throw something at you and you have to come back to me with the first thing that comes into your mind. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, I know a lot of people were expecting this because we had Dr. Farouk Sattar on the show. They're saying, okay, we're going to ask political questions. And some of them have been able to also to just get to know the human being behind the persona. Mm -hmm. Shima. What are you most passionate about? I know what your answer is going to be, but let's hear it from you. What am I most passionate about? Um, dance and theatre. I thought you'd say that. <laughs> All right. Okay. The best part of your job and the worst? The worst is um, trying to find funds <laughs> to put up yes. performances. And the best part is the, the performance itself, the yes. high that one gets yes. after the performance. Very well put. Uh, Very during well put. the performance. Pakistani leaders need to fill in the blanks. As Dr. Farooq Sattar said, become better human beings. Okay. And well, think yeah. of think of others besides themselves. But think of the nation. Think for of the country. Yeah. You know. Think of the people. Think of the people. people. Thank you. Three qualities that you look for in a man. Um, integrity. Uh, um, intelligence and um, honesty. Hmm. <laughs> Dr. Farooq Sattar is like, hmm. Yes. What would you say? What would you say? Knowledgeably. <laughs> uh, integrity, of course, it yes. has to come first. Yes. Sincerity. That uh, becomes you part of in integrity well. for me. <laughs> yeah, why not? Because because a human being. Well. Actually, I, 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 I didn't think of a man as a male. I was thinking of a human, human being. being. All right, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. And Dance, so I would say sincerity comes in pa as part of integrity. Part of it, yeah. Intelligence yes. to me is a very important yeah. thing. Yeah. All right. And then honesty. Yeah. Let's move on. Dance, in your opinion, is? A life and living. Okay, well done. Your most cherished memory? Two performances of mine that I have Why? Done. What made them so special? Uh, one was, uh, was done at, um, uh, at the Bitcha uh, Urs. Wow. And there were thousands of uh, ordinary oh, and in that ambience and yeah, oh my god Harry, the ordinary public wow, wow. So, and I got a standing ovation at the end so that was to me wow. a very very meaningful yes yeah. and the other one was the one when I once when I performed in 95 in China for the international uh, women's conference there were 30,000 women wow so oh, these fabulous. two were wonderful uh, okay um, congratulations for both of those because those must have been really special your biggest regret that I'm not a diplomat. I'm <laughs> <laughs> right. too outspoken. <laughs> and we love you for it. The Pakistani youth can uh, educate themselves more, read more, um, become, you know, think of the country more, think of the, of making the society more civilized. Make, make a difference. difference. Make a difference. Think. Describe yourself in three words. Oh, in three words. Mm. Um, well, I'm passionate in whatever I do, so that's one word. I wish I was stronger, so I'm not strong enough. Okay. I never think of myself. Okay. All right. And you wish you did? I did. I should. All right. Your turn. Into the dark. Into the dark. <laughs> Very good. <difficult, laughs> huh? All right. Farooq Sattar is? Uh, he, sh he has to be a simple, uh, down to earth, uh, uh, passionate, reaching out to the people, communicable, amenable, accessible, determined. And the list goes on and on. I and love but I think it. people are the best judge. Right. And uh, I should better leave it to the people. <laughs> <laughs> After having well, I'm telling you, this man is a, is a true diplomat. All right. <laughs> uh, the present government of Pakistan is? The present government of Pakistan is going through a transitional phase of uh, democ democracy okay. and I think it has to uh, really uh, come down to political socio-economic reform agenda program, okay. much awaited. Okay. Without that, uh, whatever actions we will be taking, we will be doing a lip service. Okay. It will be a symptomatic treatment for the chronic ailment affecting right. our body quality. Well. So we have to go for a curative treatment All like right. land reforms, cooperative farming, right. uh, like uh, microfinancing, microcredit yes. and provincial autonomy. And changing the anti-women laws. Yes. And changing uh, the laws that oppress and people. Sure they implement it. You know, and the laws that Yes, and now. make sure that they yeah. implement But first change them. They still yeah. haven't been changed. Yeah. All the anti-women laws haven't yeah. been changed. Laws yeah. like blasphemy law, which yeah. which concerns so many people. Yeah. You know, the other day there was in yeah. the papers an old woman with, uh, 
It is energy, but that you put the black meal all on it. That's in my pursuit of my know, political so party's pursuit, that is secular, moderate, progressive. Yes, all right. And everything comes under that. Next question for you. Mm -hmm. If you could change one thing about yourself, mm -hmm. one thing, what would it be? I think uh, I, I have a tendency to waste too much time uh, with even uh, where I can cut the long story short. <laughs> I would always huh. uh, ask me to do and a lot of friends also would say huh. that uh, you just if you could do this, huh. uh, then uh, you can over... Uh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yes. uh, my dirt machine, huh. according to my dirt machine, says amongst your party workers, you are known as Baba. There may be a lot of people who may be saying this, huh. but I, uh, but they respect me a yes. lot. Yes. And I think the main reason being that I have been... Uh, all along with uh, Aldaga in the party, mm. I always would follow that when going, that when going gets tough, the tough get going. Get going so. You like Nick too? I can <laughs> see that. All right. Okay. Uh, the Pakistani media should should uh, follow the uh, global, universal principles of the freedom of media. That is, it. freedom comes with responsibility. But the media themselves, like the politicians themselves, yes. should evolve some kind of a code of conduct. Yes. They should impose some restrictions on themselves. One word that comes to your mind, one word mm -hmm. that comes to your one mind word, when I say Altaf Hussain. Charismatic leader. Excellent. He did it. He did it. <laughs> Two words, one word over, but he did it. Excellent. Good work. Uh, Imran Khan or Nawaz Sharif and why? None of them. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with him. Then he's on the lighter side, I'd say. <laughs> Modern mullah. <laughs> oh, we right, don't want go. any mullah. <laughs> we don't want any. All right. You are happiest when you are? We actually first return successful. Okay. Uh, in our first ever local bodies or election huh. experience. Huh. It was uh, November 86. I think that was very rewarding. All uh, right. And here we are 12 years later. All right. Next. One person or thing that you cannot live without. One person. Or thing you can't live without. Saida ko khush kar Nobody is indispensable. <laughs> I hope Saida just heard that. All right. <laughs> I just said it in my political debate. <laughs> huh? But, but uh, I, I would want that uh, Alta Bhai should live as long as... Uh, That's very nice. Yeah, naturally. But come on, realistically. Point. One personal thing that you can't live without. I think it's a very difficult question to answer. <laughs> I'm telling you, a still, politician to the core. I, I will still not budge. <laughs> All right. Pakistani women are? Pakistani now, women... Now, careful, you're surrounded by, by women right now. <laughs> yeah, they are very uh, tolerant. Uh, they are very innocent also. Innocent? Innocent, yeah. Okay. Uh, they are tolerant also. And they are very tough also. Okay. Yeah. This <laughs> little mushroom, little thing. I love it. All right, okay. Your biggest regret? Uh, I think I don't uh, have any regret uh, because uh, uh, if I had become uh, a plastic surgeon, uh, I would I would uh, just be doing uh, a few plastic surgeries every day. Okay. But by becoming uh, a politician with the kind of the uh, background that I carry, yes, I think uh, I am now onto the public policy, All and right. uh, from here. If I have the support from other political parties. But that's not a regret. You haven't answered my question. I okay? again a difficult question. I have to. He is passing again. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you both of you for being here. It is, I'm sorry we're running out of time. Um, the regret I think is that I should have oh. tried to do more while I was the mayor, while I was... He the makes minister. a comeback. He makes a comeback. He just doesn't let it yeah. go. Dr. Falk is our politician to the end. <laughs> I love it. Because politics is the art of possible. Politics is the art of doing. All right, Seema, thank you so much. Passionate dancer, Dr. Fawaz Sattar, politician, mm -hmm. poet, through and through. Thank you for joining us. A writer us. to become a prolific writer. Huh. I'm, I'm not a poet. I would not. <laughs> All right. Poet. All right. Well, we got to know the human side of both these fantastic personalities. I hope you enjoyed getting to know them as much as I have. Next week, we're going to have another wonderful episode of No Reservations with myself, by Sharam Khan, with some new guests. Who are they going to be? Well, you are going to have to get tuned in to Dawn News Sunday night, 9 p.m. to find out. Till then, have a wonderful week. Good night.